Hey everybody, welcome to Healthcare Sucks. Uh, usually, I don't run with people's stuff, but BP Earthwatch said we could run this to show it. So I want to give all the credit on this to BP Earthwatch. Plus, I've been following the guy for years. Uh, he's one of the people why I started doing this, and one of the people why I wait, I mean, way, way, way back. The guy covered everything from you name it politics religion you you just name it he covered it all and then he was taken out which wasn't right and now he's rebuilding um with that being said he's found out some important information that's why i want to run direct with this this is going to be chopped up in several videos today because i just want to run this part i want you to hear what i've been saying where this could have came from and where many people said He's tracked it down. So let's listen to BP. Because it is the epicenter, they say, of where the, this started. Well, at first it was bat soup. Now they moved to snakes. But guys, there's uh, many of you have commented that there's been a patent on this virus for you know several years now. And uh, it's come to light that they were developing this virus or working with it in a Canadian lab. Now this is a, a level four lab, which is the highest on the planet. It can handle these deadly designer drugs or whatever you want to call them, these pathogens. Some are meant to study, some are meant for more nefarious reasons. And anyway, China <clears throat> found out about uh, Canada's level four lab and they sent a man and woman, a married couple over as scientists to study and to work there and they stole this virus and uh, they were caught but it had already happened and and they brought it to Wuhan but once China had developed their level four lab there in Wuhan they brought it over they got busted they were escorted out of the building I don't, I don't know anything else about the story but it's online and we'll take a look at it very quickly in other words, this is not a snake, it's not a bat um, virus. This coronavirus is de um, designed to be probably the most deadly that man has ever seen. And as we go through it, I want to point out some of the things that I've noticed about it. It was first, it was released just before the world's largest festival where more tra people travel for a festival than any other time of the year, the Chinese New Year. And guys, San Francisco is a major city, uh, Sydney, Australia. And it's in many cities worldwide. So the uh, the people had started traveling. When If you were gonna re uh, release a biological weapon, or if it was accidental, but if you were gonna design it and for it to be unstoppable, there'd be some characteristics that would have to be involved in it, and they are. First of all, now they're saying that uh, it has a 14-day incubation period. Which some of those things are what we've talked about. Uh, airports, getting it into there, getting it all over. That's like number one, as far as I'm concerned. So we're looking at 12 monkeys, etc. cetera. Um, I've been leaning towards some other, you know, we talk about programming. There's a lot of programming about this exact thing that's going to be coming, guys. So you might sit back on a Sunday night and pop in a few videos if you have nothing to do. Uh, the stand, that'll keep you busy for the day. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole thing if you're not into it. Uh, personally, I am religious to a point, so I mean... I know Lord's here for us, and Lord is our Savior, and it's our only way to survive this and anything else coming with the armor and the shields of the Lord in Jesus Christ's name. May you all receive them too right now. Amen. Um, uh, World War Z, there's all kinds of different ones. I'll try to look a bunch up just for kicks. Right now, I want you to listen to some more BP. Because, again, credit to BP Earthwatch. He tracked this down. And that's no longer as much of a mystery. Now, 
just happens to be the Chinese New Year's 15 days. And just as in Wuhan, 5 million plus the overnighters had left for Chinese New Year traveling around the world and through China also, through Asia, but all around the world. So now you're at the, you got a 14 day peak. We got a new case in Los Angeles or in Orange County, somewhere in Orange County, California this morning that goes along with, uh, we got one in, uh, what up in Chicago, possibly one in Texas, I think, but three now, and they're still saying possibly 60 plus that are being watched. Now also, again, the, you've got what's called the in, built into this drug. The, I think it's the most diabolical man-made creation ever. It, very well could be the pale rider. And I don't say that lightly, and you better understand what I'm telling you. Now, many of you are, have been preparing, and we've been preparing for years. We weren't sure why, because there's many things that you would need to prepare for, but this is the most deadly there is. First of all, design it to where two-week incubation, incubation period. And what makes that effective, you see the uh, different airports in Asia, and I think some of our major airports are starting to do it where they're walking around with a temperature scanner, the little yellow gun and that uh, reads your body temperature. Well, that temperature may not rise up until very close to the end of that 14 day period. So a few, a week or so ago is Chinese New Year celebrations, which again, 15 days started, people started traveling, then they're spread everywhere they need to be by the time the disease has become evident. Now, why, if it was going to be exported, what better way than to release it into your own people that were about to travel? I know it sounds evil, but we're dealing with <clears throat> very evil times. Another thing, the um, Chinese, and we'll look at that in the article too, are talking about a second phase. And if you, what would they mean by second phase? They're trying to prepare, it says, although they're running out of everything, everything looked really rough. The Chinese, um, some of the leaders are almost in a panic. Some seem to be, have, have given up. But the um, second phase would be that this virus was designed to mutate faster than viruses could be created, which is a slow process anyway. It's something that was designed to mutate rapidly and be transferable to human to human. And the propaganda would be it's coming from bats and snakes. Now China and, and whether it's part of the propaganda or not has shut down, I think almost all animal exports and trade out of that area. But the, again, because the mutation would be quicker than anything man could do and which is what's happening now. It would be unstoppable. And it would be, you, you could think about nuclear missiles all day long. Nowhere near the effect this has, because unless it was proven, it would be uh, declared an act of war, but it would be too late. And the article goes on and says, again, 5 million residents from Wuhan have left before the lockdown because of the deadly coronavirus epidemic and the spring festival holiday. It's coming from the mayor. They revealed it uh, today. It says, as health officials warned, the virus's ability to spread was getting stronger. There were about 9 million people remaining in the city after the lockdown, they also said. But now, I think in the first reports, it was about 21 million people in that area. But either way, you uh, 9 million are under lockdown, as well as many other cities. 5 million are who knows where. The Okay, guys, I'm I'm gonna throw some things at you, and uh, I don't think I'm far off. Okay, this is diabolical. This is some diabolical madman situation. It's either A or B again. A, the gov China government is behind it. Most likely is behind it, and they've just came out to kind of, oh, this happened, and then put it on the. Uh, animals which now we know it's not on the animals it might have actually came from an animal but they again whether it escaped from the laboratory or they initially let it out on their own people scenario was released 
into the public on purpose to spread at this time. This is a diabolical plan. Another reason, if you've picked up on it, uh, as far as the bee goes, uh, could be another power within China or another outside source letting this loose. I'm leading towards this is definitely since China stole it, China had control of it, it's their responsibility. Which means, by the way, they probably do have vaccination so they can stop it at some point. And probably so their military unknowingly has already had these injections to prevent it so they don't get sick. And their politics, high, high up hierarchy politicians. The rest of the people are all sacrificial lambs. We know how that works. So with that, I'm going to let you go. I want you, there's enough for you to think about for right now. We're going to run with more of this in the down today. But, uh, so officially, I want to know from Canada, Canada, you, in your labs up there, you know now, we know, we know what you know, okay? What the hell's going on? Do you have the vaccination ready to go? Is there money involved with this? Is there some big pharmaceutical company to step out and get rich out of this? Um, this is, like we said, and like I kind of called gonna mutate and this that means that this thing like you just heard is one of the world's worst engineered plagues even more worse than nature because it's been engineered like out of these movies so with that guys i love you excuse me we uh we all know what we're in for a ride now somewhat thank you bp bp you're awesome man uh, I'm going to run with this to my peeps too. Everybody needs to run with this. It needs to get out there. I'm going to spread this on every place I can. And with that, we love you at Healthcare Sucks. Because Healthcare Sucks! Over and out.